Hello everyone and welcome back to Daedalus Plays Victory 2 as the, Prus the Prussian Russian Empire. We are at war with the Prussians. Uh, they don't call themselves an empire, but I guess we could call them the Prussian Empire. And we are at war with them in aiding our Austrian friends. So, we are going to accept their call of war, and we are going to jump right into this war against the Prussians. They have tech 11. Hmm, we're only one tech behind. It's not that bad. Uh, we're also at war against the Ottomans. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. The Ottomans are cracking at the seams. I mean, they are... They've been cracking for a very long time. Mm, we already have we already occupied Istanbul, so I'm guessing I'm good. I'm just gonna get this uh, this brigade over here and take it on over. Let's take this slowly, shall we? You're going to Opel. Okay, you're marching south. Hmm. I don't know if we will end up. We might end up taking some things from the Germans. I suppose suppose we could... Oh, no, do not go through here. You're gonna stay in Calix. Oh, you will go to Plock. You can't preach from the grave. <laughs> Violence is the answer. Oh yes, you bet your sweet ass it is. Um, oh yes, these guys over here, we're getting busy. Uh, do we have any other troops that we can bring? More recruits. There are these guys over here in, in the Baltic. They'll just sit back and uh, give back up. Oh, we already are under attack. These Prussians are vicious. We will try to mostly defend because, again, they have superior technology to us. I don't know what contentious election. Oh, yeah. uh, it's a wartime election event. I don't know what kind of um, tech they have that's superior to ours, but we'll find out soon enough. Now, as many of you know, the, while the Austrians do have superior pop in terms of the amount of people they have, they are, because of the diversity of their empire, because of how many... Uh, how many kinds of people are there? Where's the nationality in map mode? If you see here, the Prussians are mostly homogeneous. They mostly have just uh, North Germans. There's a little bit of Western Slavics in here and some Poles, but they're mostly homogeneous. The Austrians are a mishmash, so yeah, that really contributes to the inefficiency of their empire in terms of their military and how many in the terms of their administration as well so they are not able to make as much money not able to mobilize as fast and, uh, and the Prussians have uh, their mobilized numbers are absolutely insane they just they can mobilize so many people it's scary uh, I'm going to attack this guy over here from two sides Jingoism Wow, this is a tough encounter. We're able to do more damage. Okay, finally, we drove them out of memo. Uh, okay, let's pursue them. Go, go, go. Go, troops. We might want to take... I think that their industrial score is relying a lot. Most of it is from Brandenburg, I think. Yeah, Brandenburg, Hessen, Pomerania. But they're probably bound to have some decent factories in here as well. This would help our cause if we did actually took, uh, say, Ostprussen or Eastern Prussia. That may help us in terms of our industry and our population. Uh, who is this? Syria. 
Okay, we beat them back. We are, after all, not that be not that badly behind in terms of tech. And one of the things you see the AI, AI Prussia almost always getting annihilated is because AI Russia, I mean, almost always getting annihilated by the by the Prussians is that their tech is usually abysmal. Mind closure. Hmm. Interventionism. So we are we are a little bit behind. We're only one tech behind, so we're not uh, doing that badly. We will not need to mobilize for this war. That's for sure. We are taking ridiculous. No, it's not that bad actually. The really high supply limit in this region. Oh, not here, but around here and the coast they do. So, okay, let's keep moving. Have our boys keep up, keep up the good work. Hmm. Or maybe we want to just liberate something. Uh, oh no, there's nothing to liberate here. There's Danzig, Poland, but if we liberate Poland, they also keep harassing us because we own a lot of their cores around here. Artillery, bring there we go. We are doing very well, surprisingly so. The Austrians are actually managing to hold on pretty well. We're going to station some a troop over here and over here in Vienna, just in case they run into trouble. We we'll also have to keep track of this. Uh, this war should be over for at least. And I read the uh, the war leader. Russian conquest of Thrace. What? Oh yes, I forget. We declared war. <laughs> I forget about that. We de we declared war on the on the Ottoman Empire. Ah, I'm an idiot. I totally forgot about that. I thought we were mostly uh just uh, helping Syria. But no, I'm a fool. I forgot about that. Speaking of which, in this Austrian Brothers War, we are not the war leader, are we? We are the war leader. It figures our military is significantly larger than that of the the Austrians. Oh, let's help them out over here. The Austrians, I think, they are fairly behind in terms of tech. Tech nine. Yeah, they are three techs behind. That's pretty bad. They're gonna get a beating. Uh, let's stop taking attrition and move forward. Butch Tucho, and you are going to go to Danzig. There's also another troop over here that needs to spread out. Deutsche Krone. Or... Uh, let's, let's take a long to the coast, I suppose. We want to march into Berlin. That'll uh, certainly cripple them. And the economy, no? Oh, I clicked for laissez-faire. Oops. Try to increase our relationship with the... French again. We did go to war against the French, but I'll try to keep my relations a little bit higher. Uh, too bad that uh, the Prussians did not manage to take, did not try to take Alsace-Lorraine, or else that would have helped our cause, and that that would have distracted the Prussians and have them fight a two-front war. But uh, that's fine. We can uh, handle this perfectly well. We are defending very well. And I want to head over here with this guy. Yes, we are defending rather well, but their morale is a little bit higher, it seems. We are under attack. No, it's just a... You can go over here. And... Go to uh, what's this called? Posen. There we go. Back that up. These guys are taking quite a beating. They're losing less men, but their morale damage is pretty bad. And the economy. Yeah, shish. Yes, no. One. Jingoists, of course.
Any other battles still ongoing now? We helped the Austrians over here. Uh, we are going to keep this guy over here in Brno. If that's how you pronounce that. Uh, Cape Bon. What is this? Savoy? Excuse me? Uh, are we at war with Savoy? I didn't even know we were at war with Savoy. <laughs> Apparently we are, because Savoy is allied with Prussia. I didn't know that. Oh yes, our troop. Our uh, ships are still making over here. Uh, Greece, give me military. Oh, we already have military access. Oh my lord. <laughs> More Jacobins. Uh, good lord. Ottomans, get your act together, friend. You have to help yourself over here. It's like, it's not even, we don't even have to try. We just march in and take land from the Ottomans at this point. They are not a threat at all. Uh, what's this? These guys march over here. What were we? No, I guess we were trying to uh, fill in the ranks of some regiment, but I don't know what regiment that is anymore because <laughs> it's probably fighting over here. Let's just keep moving. We are doing very well. Very, very well. Beirut. El Bing. Uh, move forward. I think we. No, they still have a lot of, uh... No, I think we... The majority of their professional troops have been beaten back. We're gonna be... F the majority of the troops we're gonna be facing now are... Conscripts. So, there won't be that big of a risk for our... Our boys. Let's see. Uh... Stetten. Kustern. Corpses make excellent foundations. <laughs> Oh my god, that always gets me. Okay, you are going to move forward. We're going to start our relentless march towards Berlin and occupy that. We have plenty of room for infamy. So we can maybe add a war goal. And as a matter of fact, I am going to add a war goal, and that war goal is going to be to acquire Ausprussen. We're going to further our, our control of this region. As we all know, I mean, we can probably, re maybe we will end up releasing Poland as a puppet, as a communist puppet, once we become communist, that is. Uh, acquire state. That is Ostprussen, isn't it? I'm not confusing it with Westprussen. It begins over here in Danzig. Okay, this is a fairly large area, actually. What are we going to be getting out of this? Was this precious metal? Ooh, fish and some cows. Pretty good for more can. Another more. I keep thinking of canned food, but I keep forgetting that in PDM that uh, there's different kinds of canneries. Let's see, Westfallen, Ostprussen. <clears throat> Give us Ostprussen. We will take off the the head over here. The original Prussian homeland will be ours. Under Slavic control. Danzig has been occupied. Perfect. Keep moving forward. Get those assholes out of there. Oh, look, the engineers have different sprites. I never noticed that. Ugh, what are you doing here? Get out of my land. My. You dick. Get off my land! Gumbinen, okay. Have to keep track of where all these guys are going. They're going to almost 27th of August, 1st of September. Maybe that'll uh, dissuade them of moving. Yeah, okay. Then we can start to try to intercept them over here. How are we doing over here? We're occupying Lebanon. Hmm, I don't really think I'm going to be taking anything else out of here. Egypt is not a puppet of the Ottoman Empire, so we're not going to be taking anything. I would like to take us the Sinai eventually, just because I don't like to have other powers control the Suez Canal. We're not much of a naval power, but it's very nice to have a way, a permanent way that is that uh, doesn't require you to occupy anything. 
Wow, we wiped out that army. Perfect. You're still going to block. Meet them over there. This is a full army. This is not just a bunch of conscripts, so they might need some help. Rebels occupy the Istanbul. Yeah, these guys are gonna attack them from both sides. Citizenship. Huh, residency. Okay, I think the Ottomans are trying to say acquire Thrace. Ah. Constantinople is back into Christian control. Ain't that something? What is all this? Tobacco? Huh, okay. Look at that. That's perfect. Oh yeah, Greece does not have any cores over here. I don't think they're... I never... I don't see the AI take the Megali idea that gives them cores all... Oh, wait a second. Where's the Megali idea that just gives them core over here? Hmm. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played Greece, but uh, I rarely see the AI pick up the Megali idea and try to claim stuff over here, even when they have the support of the player. Say, if you're playing a big powerful country and show your support for Greece, they almost never, never, ever, ever do that. I don't know why, it's kind of disappointing. I expect them to take full advantage of that, but they don't. Let's go to Berlin. No reason to dilly-dally back here. I'm gonna smash them with, him with another brigade over here, and will just annihilate them. There we go. And uh, time to pursue with them with the fresher brigades. Alright. Keep moving. Mm, you, you're not doing anything. You can attack though. This is just a bunch of conscripts with some, with some uh, artillery. So it'll be easy pickings. Okay, that guy is just moving on through. No, no, no. You don't understand. You have to go here, and you are going to Prenzlau. Okay. Prussia is probably very, very high in terms of uh, more exhaustion. Oh, yep, 32%. We are only at 1%. They haven't occupied a single province. Excellent. Go back to Sevastopol. You are going to dock in your brand new dock here. Constantinople. I wish it would change the name. I wish there would be a decision to change. I wonder if there is. Return to the Third Rome. Oh, there is. There's Moscow. Vipuri. Finland not puppet. Estonia Latvia is not our puppet. Oh, that's something else. Return to the Third. Oh, that's the thing for Moscow. Claim Sakhalin. Dreams of Empire. No, I don't think there is a decision for, for controlling Constantinople. Let me check the timer real quick. Okay, everything's doing fine. Let me uh, go back here. Right, let me just lower this a little bit. A little bit better. What do we do in terms of infrastructure? I haven't checked it in a while. Fine. Uh, can we invest in any of our other... Uh, Puppets. I'm gonna invest a little bit in Greece. Bulgaria's in our sphere, I'm just checking. Serbia's still in our sphere. Montenegro's not in our sphere, neither is Albania. Okay. Shogunate Japan is still in there. Deutsche Kron. Okay, let's keep moving, moving. Prinzlau. Wow, we just annihilated the Prussians. I was expecting them to put up a bit more of a resistance. But they didn't. Slobophile party one. Alright, more conscripts are rising up <laughs> and getting obliterated. That's very sad. Hmm. I wonder if there's a decision to annex uh, Finland. Oh, you can only move from St. Petersburg if uh, you're not you don't own these things. Yeah, okay. Which it, it makes sense because Finland is not our enemy. They're our puppet. Uh, there's no other countries around here. St. Petersburg is not that open to attack. Oh, we're not doing so well over here. Oh, they want peace. Acquire Ostprussen. 
a second. No, we want all the other deals. We want the we want the deal of Austria to admit hegemony to Austria. You must admit hegemony to Austria. Our boys are taking quite a beating. The the Prussians have really high morale. I mean organization. Oh no 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 no! Don't go through there. All right, you're gonna. However, you can attack through here. Come on, Austria. Back me, back me up over here. Oh, shit, we lost. Damn it. Yeah, the Austrians have really high morale. We are, we kill them. We kill them. A, we kill a lot of them per tick, but... <clears throat> we really deal them a lot of damage. See, like a thousand... 1200, but their morale is just... Their morale doesn't decay as fast as uh, ours. No. I want to just acquire Ostpros, and I want Austria to be uh, the the power... The, the German powerhouse in the region. I want to have somebody who's friendly to our cause. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't go there. You have no morale. You have n no business being there. You're going to stop taking attrition? Oh no, you're not taking attrition. Ah, supply limits are surprisingly high. See, look at this. We have more soldiers and everything, but uh, it just doesn't do it. Their morale, their organization is just insane. And yeah, oh, 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 okay. They probably have uh, military statistics that gives us the more organization. No, no, no. Army decision making. Oh yeah, they changed this around. This this doesn't give outright morale. And this doesn't give uh, outright organization. I get it. This gives discipline. They change. I I'm still getting used to these uh, tech changes in PDM. I still don't know what all of them do. You're on the 9th of November. You're arriving there on the 14th of November. Okay, never mind. You're gonna go there and back them up. 8th, 9th, there we go. Oh, are you joking? That was enough. They want white piece, that's fine. Oh, they got away. Uh, this is Bielsko. This is what? Hills? Kona for forest hills. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate terrain to be in. Should just go to Karlowitz and occupy that. No reason to send in these attacks and lose men like that. Okay, we wipe them off in Berlin here. We're still advancing very quickly. Uh, these are just good guys over here. Let's position some people over here. Oh, these are this is a big regiment. Hmm. Maybe the acquire Ospros and thing and the admit hegemony is too much. 122. Hmm. Now, what do I want? I already added the infamy limit, but then again, infamy burns out pretty quickly in this mod. Oh, do I want Austria to gain control of all of this? Or do I want to acquire one state? Uh, hmm, I can delay that. I don't need to really acquire Ostprussen right now. We have a lot of population. We have our own stuff to deal with. Oh, we have a lot of unemployed craftsmen in Thrace. Um... Fabric factory, I guess that's acceptable. Tobacco, 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 and uh, grain. Mm, I want to build another factory. Let's go switch over to Panslavics, take a little bit of that infamy hit. Infamy, I mean, <laughs> militancy. Excuse me. Uh, there's a uh, cigarette factory. Yeah, that's nice. That'll, be, that'll work. Cigarettes. And. I guess we can start a liquor distillery there as well, since there's some grain. Let's just do that. We have a lot of money, so we can afford to build stuff while at war. Oh, we are taking quite a beating over there. They're dying. Yeah, they're, they they lose more men, but we lose organization much faster than they do. That's the only disadvantage that we have. 
All right, Berlin has been occupied. Perfect. I should have checked about this. Admit hegemony. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. There you go, Austria. That's my gift to you. Clean coal. Huh. What a, what a nice little detail to end the war in. Uh, let's get army decision making right away because that's really important. Let's uh, station our mammoth armies over here along the along the uh, frontier with our not so friendly friendly neighbor. Radon, Guru Ismail, and I am going to send someone over here to s remain in Istanbul. I don't think we can recruit many people here, can we? No, only one regiment. Okay. The majority of you are artisan. Oh my god, 44% artisans. Holy crap. <sighs> you better demote fast. Into, uh... To craftsmen, I'm gonna need the need you guys to be working on me here. Oh my god, our admin, admin is still pretty pretty trashy. Okay, Art, just take the timer real quick. We're still fine. Take a sip of my water while I contemplate this. Hmm. Look at that sphere of influence. Oh baby. Speaking of which, since uh, we're since we're we have a lot of nations to take care of. Let's just focus on a few at a time. Let's focus all of our attention in Romania so they can quickly add them to our sphere. Okay, can we even invest in them? We can. It's gonna be good to have uh, Romania under our control because they have a lot of oil, so that'll be terrific to have them uh, very close to us. Have them under our sphere, because I think it's this state over here in Bacau, over here. What is now grain over here, and I think in Turgoju or Turgoviste, these are going to become oil, and they produce a lot of oil. These are very. Find a buyer for Alaska. No, 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 no. I don't want to. We have little use of our North American holdings. No, I'm not going to give up our North American holdings. They may prove to be useful in a, maybe an upcoming invasion of the United States when we become communist, so that we can uh, <coughs> convince them <laughs> to follow our way of life. You know, we don't want to give up Alaska just yet. This is a very good base of operations from where we can la launch launch an attack on the United States. We can build an extra artillery, I suppose. Prussia broke their alliance with Saxony. Yeah, they're going to break their alliances with these people because they... I'm going to check recruitment map mode. Recruitment. We can recruit only a few people. Extras. We're mostly at our, our limit. Four, two, three... And you are one and one. Okay, you're gonna accompany this guy over here to Istanbul. Yeah, they're gonna be breaking their alliances with them. That's expected. Huh, let me considering that. Should I have Sweden to my sphere of influence? Uh, we are importing. What do we import? Timber, cattle. No, that's our exports. Canned food, tea, and shares. Importing shares. That's interesting. That's kind of funny. Well, it's always useful to have some iron in our reserves. And they have a little bit of coal. That's always good to have extras of this. But for now, let's just focus on doing one at a time to add our stuff. Add our more to be more efficient. Might want to get positivism so we can get this our education going faster also ad hoc money bill printing will be very useful because our admin is pretty crap pretty garbage 
We've done a lot. We've done quite a bit. The Ottomans are still collapsing. Oh yes, uh, you should get out of there, please. Uh, don't just stand there. And no, no, no. Don't attack these poor rebels, I beg you. Persia. Okay, Persia's not in our sphere. We might want to puppet these dingle-dongs as well. The great game. Only five infamy if we get caught. Let's do it. Oh my god, clergyman 4%. <laughs> I forgot about this. Oh, Kazan. So, uh, go to Samara. How are you doing, clergyman? 1.4%. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Bring, uh, Kazan is 4.5%. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. I totally forgot about these when I was concentrated on these wars. And Tartaria. Uh, yeah, there we go. I totally forgot about these. Well, they're gonna, they'll, they'll probably go down as we get more people from other, into other uh, types of pops. But this, this was a bit excessive. Oh, Lord. There, our friend Austria now has complete control over the sphere of influence. Ain't that something? Look at that. So that'll prevent Prussia from forming uh, the, the North German Federation. That'll uh, tone, tone them down a few rungs. Well, they're still very high on prestige, and they're second in the world when it comes to to uh, industry. So they are not going to be easy to defeat. They will prove they will prove they will pose a constant threat to us until we neutralize them. I almost never relax around uh, a unified Germany and Vicky too. Okay, these clergymen here in Bryansk can change. We can go now to Kiev. And as I said before, it's, it always says that it's the ideal. The ideal is around two percent, but I like to get it up above that. Ideally, four percent in the more popu four percent in the more populated states, and the rest can just remain at two percent. 2% is fine, but for the more populated ones, I like to get up to at least uh, 4%. Okay, now Turk, or the Ottoman, the Ottoman Turks finally fell. The Ottoman dynasty has fallen. It's now Turkey. Okay, and they're they're limited to Asia. They've been expelled from Europe. Excuse me? Oh, I thought they were attacking us, but they're not. What are those? Um, Armenian nationalists. Okay, looks like they're gonna... Looks like the Ottomans are gonna keep breaking up. So let's just declare war on Bukhara. And add them as our puppet. Speed 5, because it's an easy war. No reason to dilly-dally in a war like this. It's easy, easy peasy. What about you? Can we uh, justify war with you? Oh, the devious, devious bastards in Afghanistan have been increasing their relations with us. And of course, because infrastructure here is absolute garbage. It takes forever to move from province to province. This is this is one of the more annoying places to fight in. I even remember playing, uh, even in. And I was playing in Darkest Hour as Kaiserreich. I was playing as the as the Rus as the Russians as well, and declaring war on these Central Asiatic powers to as assume control of them is such a pain. Not because they're strong, but just because they're it's so painfully slow to move around in these provinces. It's just like, oh my lord, it takes forever. They're now presidential dictatorship. Oh, okay, they got rid of the rebels. Good, good for them, I guess. Hmm. Occupy this. Move forward. Uh, let me see if I can. Are there any forts that I can upgrade as well along the frontier? No, they're all level two forts. Seem to be fine. Yeah. Okay. All right, Romania. No. Oh, that's Bulgaria. <laughs> Wrong state. That's. There's Romania. Welcome. Serbia is already within our reach. Let's get Albania. 
I'm going to leave it at 1 so I can have something in case other states... I won't have a reserve of diplomatic influence to use. Hmm, the French were, using, were trying to get in here, but they stopped. Good. Don't have to worry about them anymore. Oh, okay. Our time is up. This episode is long enough. And we discover pit coal, and there's the World's Fair. Okay, let me pause here. Ah, there. Prussia has been nipped a little bit. Not at the bud, because we haven't, you know, reduced their territory in any way. Though I did waste some infamy. I'm not too worried about this, because this mod, as, I, as you noticed, and as you know by now, if you already play this mod, infamy goes down much, much slower. Much faster, rather. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we are, have revolt risk through the roof now again uh, Russia is gonna be a bit problematic up until then uh, I'm not complaining especially considering how we do need to have rebels later on especially communist rebels to win this but uh, 1.45 million Jacobin rebels is not something I like having around anyways Thank you very much for joining me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you like this series, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. It helps to help out the channel. Thank you very much, and have a great one. Goodbye.